here we are again with Gold Phoenix. What's poppin'? The name of his channel is Gold Phoenix. I'm gonna leave a link at the bottom because a lot of us can't spell. I'm <laughs> one of them. I'm one of them. Gold Phoenix. Go sub to his channel immediately. This is his first run in with TV in person. I'm trying to get eight videos out of him right now, which is ridiculous. Yeah, we gonna do it. I gotta drop this load off in a couple hours, but yeah, we gonna get it done. Right, right, right. So what time is it now? What, 1932, 732? So, oh, we Gucci, we Gucci, we Gucci. Now, can you tell us, and I don't know if you got experience in this, because you a young buck and you may not have a game to pull them yet, so I don't know this yet. Why do the women like sex in the truck? I'll tell you right now, hold on, hold on. You hear that rumble? <laughs> <laughs> the vibration. Yeah, yeah, you know, it, it, it just do something to them. You know what I mean? I, I ain't gonna go too much into detail, but you know, certain certain marinades coagulate and lead you, you know what I mean? <laughs> Things just be marinated, you know what I'm saying? So when, when, when a chick gets in your truck and she's never been around trucks, what do what they be saying? God, once you get in here, she's like, oh, can you take me for a ride? Depends on what you mean. But <laughs> I don't mind. They've said all kinds of crazy stuff. Some of them like, hey, oh, this is nice. Yeah, that's the big one. one. This is nice. This is all right. This ain't bad. Hey, you really got yourself so got the TV. How you get that big TV in here? <laughs> I'm like, like, that's oh. only 32 inches, bro. But, I mean, it's mad. It look big, you know? Yeah, you know, it's right above your head and stuff like that. Yo, like, let's chill out, watch a movie, but we ain't going to watch it for real. And the truth is, I'm, I'm going to hit y'all with a couple reasons. Number one, they can be as loud as they want. Yep. Number two, nobody, nobody in their social circle knows they're there. Mm -hmm. So they get a little bit freakier in the truck. Yeah, they don't post nothing on social media. Which, which is when y'all be like, oh, I got to stop and get a hotel. You do not need a hotel. They prefer the truck, man. You can, And let me tell you, if you're dealing with a chick worth her weight, like an actual career type where they will drive to where you are. Oh, yeah. They will pull up on that truck stop. All you got to do is know what part of this. I'm about to get you out of the grill. What part of the city do you live in? Let's say we talking about Atlanta. And they live on the road leading to Birmingham. Okay. All you got to do is figure out what Walmart, because really, it don't go down at the truck stop, right? It go down, it go down at the Walmart, bro. Yep, targets. Targets. All that. Pull up to the wall measy that allow you to park or the rest area. Usually the Walmart. They feel more comfortable at the Walmart. Pull up at the Walmart. Tell them I'm right here. You There's always a Walmart three miles away from anywhere any chick's day. Mm -hmm. That's I'm, a pure fact. You ask them what 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 uh, how close? Give me an address to the Walmart close to you to your Walmart. You give them that, they gonna pull up, they gonna hop in, and they gonna be like, "This is nice." You dust them right off, and keep on going. This and the, this part that kill them though. <clears throat> Once you're done, you gotta be like, this. "All right, I got somewhere to be." No, good scene, you know. I got a load. Like nothing happened. It's a built-in excuse to leave. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just drive into the truck stop because you don't want to stay with you the whole time. <laughs> Yo. Ooh, bro, I said that to a chick and then went to my mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> you cook something, mama. I'm like, oh, that's spaghetti? What you up to? I'm Nothing. Trying. I'm just trying to chill. That's it. You know, been I'm working hard. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you, what do you have to watch out for? Uh, you got to make sure she's not telling other people that you're there because truckers do get robbed. Absolutely. So if she's real free with the information that you're in town, you know, you can't get robbed. That's a, that's a, that's a, uh, what's it? It's a, it's a thing that can happen. Mm -hmm. Um, number <clears throat> two, have your own prophylactics. Yes. Do not let them bring no condoms with you. They will poke a hole in it. Mm -hmm. So please have your own prophylactics with you, your own type, whatever your brand is. Yep. Um, uh, another thing too, you are running a risk because if you rub that chick wrong, she can call your company and say that um, you did something to her. They will fire you. A lot of cats don't understand. They call, oh, I'm going to call. And yeah, yeah, he kind of assaulted me. They're not going to ask any questions, bro. They're just going to, they're going to X you. ASAP. They don't want the liability. They don't want the liability. So you're running that risk when you do it. 
Um, me, when I, I wanted to be out of the truck, so I started going to the Ritz call because I wanted to be out of the truck. You know, sometimes you pull up at certain times, you ain't really got a place to take a shower, all that stuff. So, I, you know, once you start getting your money right, you go to the Ritz call. When I say Ritz call, I really mean the embassy. That's really the most truck friendly place you can go, the embassy. And then they pull up, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do what you got to do, yada, yada, yada. But the reason why they like sex in a truck, all their inhibitions can be let out. They can be as loud as they want to be. Say whatever. They, they can say whatever they want. And usually where you're at, nobody in their social circle will see them. That's why they like it. And everybody loves to fantasize about being on the open road. They love that for some reason. It's an American thing. Yeah. Um, if you... If these chicks seen half the stuff you see, they give it up just on a regular basis. They'll be on the truck just to give it up, just to watch. Yeah, just take, to be there. Take her to see Dead Man's Pass. I mean, look how she had or the restaurants you get to go to all over oh the country. Gosh, man. See, that's what you got to do. You got to start doing the vlogs on where you're eating. Mm. Drop that joint on your Facebook. Yeah, I don't know if y'all could afford some of the places I eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once you, once you get that lease money, it's 300 of dinner by yourself. That's your wrap. I don't want to say 300. Well, I know where I be going to be uh, 300. I have spent 300 on food before. Most of the time, you know, if I'm really just in the mood for something, about 150. Right, right, one fifty. But see, where I, where I go, the steak be like a hundred dollars, and then, yeah, man, yeah, spot like, down there in um the domain is like that. Right, damn expensive. The steak be a hundred, the soda be uh, or the drink be twelve. Mm -hmm. You know, then you get a macaroni and cheese. They want twenty four for that, mm -hmm. and then yeah, the gratuity be a mess. Yep, dude. I took a chick to this one restaurant down there in the domain down there in Austin, Texas. Y'all stay away. That's my spot. Uh, she been to the steak and cried. Wow. She ain't never had nothing like that before. I was just looking at her like, not a tear. She's like, yo, this is so good. I'm like, you emotional. <laughs> I ain't mean to do all that. <laughs> I just want you to have a nice time, man. I'm like, this, I'm not like, I ain't trying to flex. And I just, this is what I do. <laughs> you know, you wanted to tag along, whatever. Is it easier dating and trucking? Mm. Is it less talking? Is it it's just... It depends on the woman, you know, like some of them want to stay on FaceTime 24 seven and that can get annoying. Right. Others, I mean, others I understand to a degree, but as far as pull it. rate, pull rate, easy. It's easier. Easy. You barely have to say words. You just show up. You look like money. Like they with it. Wow. Jeez Louise guys. I mean, girls too. Now, girls out here, they 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 smash and stuff, bro. Don't get it twisted. Oh, they just quiet about it. Yeah, they're quiet about it, but they lightweight sliding into town, abusing cats, bro, and bouncing. And cause cause not only men like the I gotta leave factor, they women like that too. Uh -huh. I've met a few women who, when they're honest and we're not, you know, we're not live. They say, you know, I got a few of them in a few cities, man. I got a you know a light skinned boy here. I got me a dark skinned one here. I got me a white boy over here. Like you know they. And my thing is more power to him. We do it. Mm, so yeah, that's uh, crap. My father had to deal with a lot when he was a trainer. Mm. They stuck him with all the females. Every single one of them tried to sleep with him. He never did. Smart. But they always tried. He quit recently. They're not very happy about that. He quit taking women? He quit. Crying. Ooh. Straight left. And, you know, it's no ill will against them. It's, it's like, yeah, the students. Right. That's all it was. Students, I'm tired of dealing with these crazy chicks. I've done this for five years. I um, get it. I actually signed the paper at Prime to not train women. Uh, yeah, he told me if I start training, don't train them. And I'm like, yeah, I understand why he did because he never had issues, no reports. Yeah, you know, and they get in, they do their job, but they always wanted certain extracurriculars. If you know what I mean, you just got tired of it. So the the the, the, the female students is trying to get it. They act like they're not, but they are. They're weirdos a lot of the time. Wow. Yeah, man. that's controversial, but yeah, I see. Yeah, a little bit. Y'all act like the men is out here trying to just be, you know, praying and spraying that type of deal. Y'all, man, yeah. some of the stuff I could say about y'all and the stuff y'all be trying. Yeah, women, I mean, women are definitely, uh, they're, they're, because their thing is they get, they get put into a situation like a man where, first of all, you don't got that much off time. Right. So you're going to have to smash something or it's going to be another month or two before you even see something. So they get to the point where they're like, yo, I ain't come over here to look at CBs. Right. <laughs> like, bro. So I'm on a mission. Yeah, I'm on a mission. I'm trying to I'm trying to get something. I'm mean, trying to get on that pogo stick. You did. I've been at terminals. I'm not going to say where. And uh, 
go to your headquarters terminal, any company, and watch them trucks. They smash into them trucks, man. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's how you know the ones that just be parking all the way in the back where right. nobody really at. They smash it in them trucks. Mm -hmm. Usually dudes and women, they, they have uh, boyfriends and girlfriends around that terminal because they know they're going to keep going in and out of there. Mm -hmm. So when they get in there, they jump on Tinder and they be all over that little city, wherever that terminal is at. And they, they just, they keep them in rotation. Here you go, another one that people don't want to talk about. A lot of truckers is smashing the female DMs. They smashing the female DMs. They smashing some of the women in general that work at the terminal. Right. Yeah. Some of the receptionists and then and, and, and yeah, working at the cafe. Right. And, you know, the, the custodians. A lot of that's going. A they, lot of that's going on, man. They they we we call them trucker groupies. Trucker groupies. Yeah, because they really with it. They just down for it for whatever reason. Because they know you gotta leave. Yeah, they know you gotta go, and you know I'm guessing in their mind it's like, well, you on the road, so it's probably just pent up. You gonna do something mad aggressive. And you probably are <laughs> most likely. <laughs> Straight donkey Kong status. <laughs> right, right. You are. Because you're more appreciative than a dude that's around women all the time. Sure. <laughs> she can't even look all at you holding the knee like, oh my gosh. Yeah, man, so I start sucking toes. I'm not saying I do, but you might. Shit, I've done it. I've ain't done it. At you. I'm a real one, dog. I've, I've, man, especially you got a bad one. Oh my God, bro. It's and, like, you only need I, but ask. I was four months out at a time. Hmm. So when I seen it, it was like a revelation of God. Like, wow, actual woman. And then one that's like with it, that's like pressing you about it. Like, I like it when they pull up to the truck and they be purposely trying to wear scantily clad stuff. Like, you know, you know, this is not going to end well. Yeah. And they get in and all and they sit down in that, that left leg, all the booty meat right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, geez, girl, what is you doing? And then it's the first thing you notice as a, as a trucker, and this is women and men. Is the fact that they civilians smell better than us? Yes. It's the smell that gets you. Yeah, listen, and it, this one this is gonna sound crazy, but if you in your truck, it's for the dudes out here, and you ain't back there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, slapping a sausage, you know what I mean? <laughs> Choking the chicken, and all that energy just gets pent up. You can smell a woman from a mile a away. A mile away. It's crazy. Like you walk into a Walmart, where she at? Yeah, she did. No, the worst <laughs> is the shippers. Oh, oh, and let's say you know that old Lexi is that old Gladys almost got it a few times. I've walked in, and especially flatbed because they always got the old lady at the desk, and that old lady smells so good, and you just be oh, like, man. Gladys, you can get it. You keep stunting them. Yo, this is one bad chick I saw up there in Idaho of all places. I was mm -hmm. up there in Twin Falls. I walk into that office. She had the most pleasant attitude. She smelled like. Just Dior, Gucci, whatever the heck she was That's wearing. That's probably Walmart, but he thought it was good. Man, <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. The, the, the smile, the way she told me, she's like, eh, I'll just go ahead, back in the door, 31. They're going to load you super quick. I'm like, oh, I don't need long. What? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> Five minutes. I mean, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I can make it do what it do. Man. Just, uh, give me a task. I'll get it done. <laughs> right, bro. I, and you know the ones that always almost get me is them old black chicks that be at the, uh, the gate. They got that little one gold tooth on the side right here. Sweetheart. They, yeah, they sweetheart and darling. They nice. They joking with you. And you get a nice one, because someone be mean. Yeah. But uh a nice one and you say how you doing and they be looking all clean. They always swole they big. They, oh my God. I be like somebody auntie about to get it, bro. Yeah. They man. about to get it, don't, bro. Nah, don't mess around in Georgia, man. They heavy down there. Yeah. <laughs> like for real. I, when I oh, first really? went to that Petro. I was like, why do they got... See, here's the truth, y'all. Atlanta Fives are like everywhere else dimes. Mm -hmm. Th that's that's not a... Same thing with Miami and stuff. Their, their Fives, the chick that's like a custodian picking up trash, is your small town dime. That's a fact. And it's crazy because usually they act like they're Fives. Yeah, they all think they're ugly for some reason. Which I mean, you could use the advantage if you're a scumbag, right? But where they are, the competition is so hard; they feel that way. Yeah, because they all bad for the most part. So they feel like I'm just normal looking. Yeah, like they they would be normal looking if they went out to like like L.A. or maybe what, what's that place in Arizona? Um, 
Scottsdale. Right, right, right. You know, right. then they gonna get a run for their money, but but they they got it. They had plastic surgery and stuff right, out there. But right. and let me let me tell you something, man. Atlanta ain't really where all the baddies at, man. You gotta go up there to uh, Kennesaw, up there by the university. I ain't never been there. Kennesaw, mm-hmm. and they all over the place. Bus stop, the McDonald's, chicks. and they all dumb as heck. <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> They some idiots. Uh-oh, he just dropped right. the gym. Kennesaw. Listen, ladies, we will speak from y'all pers- per, uh, 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 point of view, but we're not women. So uh, definitely Faith can drop some gems when she come on here and all that type of stuff whenever I can run into her. Of course. You know, because Faith, Faith got some game with her. You got you to gotta read in between the words. She ain't no dummy, bro. Very, very highly intelligent yeah. woman right there. I have been enjoy her content quite a bit. Right, right. So, I mean... If you're a woman, you need to be paying attention to her for sure because she's here for y'all. Yeah, exactly. Like, so Faith, Faith is actually a smart one. She's young too. I think she's like 23. Yeah, 23. She's like 23 years old and she's out here doing it. I don't know if she's leasing or not, but I know she's uh, running. She's uh, running OTR. She's running hard. She's been through ups and downs, mess ups. So that's definitely someone you need to check. But this guy's channel, The Controversial Gold Phoenix, that's his new name. The Controversial <laughs> Gold Phoenix. Who gonna tell you like it is? He don't care nothing about your politics. He just gonna get it to you straight. This is the guy. How did he get this freaking interview? He's on the Patreon. That's how these interviews get set up. You gotta be on the Patreon. You gotta be there for a minute too. You can't be there like you you sign up for it and the payout and come in and all of a sudden you're like I need an interview next week. That's not how that's gonna work. <laughs> you gotta be in the lives. I gotta see you. I gotta get a feel for you. All that type of stuff. This guy, make sure you sub to him immediately. Make sure you sub to this channel because we are doing breakthroughs with uh, conversations and trucking. We're not just going to tell y'all how to shift. We're going to get into the nuances, the in-between. We out of 5,000, you don't do drugs.